All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol S, R, and E, so Rental Therapeutics Inc. And before I jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first-time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel. And to all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's see what this chart has to offer. So as I stated yesterday in the video, the volatility was great in a bullish run, and it leveled off. And I wasn't assuming for this to actually have the volatility in this direction. I was actually thinking this would kind of, you know, hang out somewhere around here. And even if it didn't break resistance, it wasn't going to break much of the support and just kind of hang out sideways as the 50 day moving average would catch up to it. And then hopefully either the bears or the bulls in the next days would actually take over this and start to gain leverage. But as quickly as this went up, it's as quickly as it's leveling back, back down. I mean, it's fairly close. It's not that far from the low here of 655. We're not leveled off at 693 and support was 734. That significantly got broken through. And here we are with a new support level and resistance level that is way below where we were at. So very important point of reference is this resistance level. It's the highest point that this stock has reached in the last couple of days. And even in this bullish run and highest point since this recovery from a bearish run and getting back over the 50 day moving average. Now, as they say, history tends to repeat itself. I don't want to say this, but I'm going to point it out. Um, this is reflecting fairly close to what we saw here um, previously a couple of weeks ago. And it, it spiked up and it started to fall and then it broke through the 50 day moving average and it continued to work its way down to newer lows. And that's what we're seeing here. Spiked up, broke through it. And now we're very close to the 50 day moving average. And all it takes is a little bit more of a push for the bears to continue to work through this. And they're going to bring this down in their direction of newer lows. So let's go ahead and look at these points of reference that are our new support levels and um, resistance levels, but very, very important that this resistance level, 783, you write it down, that needs to be broken through before this starts to see any new highs and new levels of resistance. Now, as I stated, it broke through it, it's leveling off. We're gonna see who gains control, so let's zoom in and see what is important for tomorrow. So our resistance level for the bulls to even start to work their way back up further away from the 50 day moving average, which is 685. I'd write that down after closing at 693. That's a very close one. And our support is slightly below it. But before the bulls can even start to see newer highs, they need to break through 707, pull themselves further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction, turn this into support, and then they can start to work their way up to newer highs. Now, the support level is significant. And I want to emphasize how important it is to pay close attention to it if it gets broken through. And how quickly does it get broken through to hit newer lows and new support levels? Why? Because actually, by breaking through support, the bears have not only broke through support, but they broke through the 50-day moving average of 685. Getting them back into bearish territory and now breaking through a support that signifies this will start to test newer lows and new support levels so 683 is our support very very important very very important i want to emphasize that if this breaks through it how quickly is it moving to newer lows and are the bulls even trying to reappear to stop the bears i hope that with these points of reference and cues you guys will be well equipped for tomorrow's trading day share us with your friends and community and if you feel inclined or encouraged to subscribe don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. And thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.